Good morning everyone, this is Clay of Digifactor Animation and today another tutorial. Right now you see YouTube up with one of my videos and this video is called the most ridiculous boat trip ever. And I'm going to show you a scene on um, uh, what I am going to show you how to do. So let's watch this scene. Sorry about that. Your friend is stinking up my island. I was living here to get away from the pollution of civilization. But now, thanks to him, I have to find another island. Well, adios. And right there, this character is flying a hang glider. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to bring up Movie Zoo. And you can see I already got Movie Zoo pulled up, but we're not going to use that character. We're going to use the boy and we're going to edit him a little bit. Get rid of the chair. Alright. Now, let's create the boy. Now, let's go to his edit properties and get rid of that ridiculous hair G. Let's give him something more appropriate. There we go. Now, let's give him some... Uh, first, let's give him, let's give him a hat. Something that will be perfect for hang lighting. I'll give him this little helmet right here. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, then we're going to go to his face and give him some kind of glasses to wear to protect his eyes from the wind. That'll be perfect. Okay, let's bring these glasses in a little bit more. And let's get rid of that ridiculous pointy nose. There we go. Better. Now, let's go to the top. I'm going to change this color to red. Hey, okay, and it's going to get kind of chilly up there in the sky riding that hang glider. So we'll put some uh, long pants on them and we'll turn those white. Okay. And we don't want those pants falling off in the wind, so we'll give them a belt. Okay. Let's give them some shoes, too. I know what we're doing doesn't really matter, but, you know, I'll make your shoes black. Now, he's ready to go. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create a cube and put it right over the character like so. All right, and then we're going to edit the cube's property. We're going to make it transparent. Well, the camera can't see it. And then in the physics, we're going to click on could be stood on and float in the air and keep keep upright uh, checked. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's move the directional light out of our way. Okay. Now, let's move the cube up give us enough space between the ground and the cube that'd be good alright now you see how we got shadows well the cube is invisible so the cube don't have a shadow but the character does so go back to the character's edit properties 
go to the bodies tab and unclick cast shadow alright now before we bring in the hang glider we need to give the character an action something close enough to where he is it looks like he's holding the uh, the hang glider uh, let's click on him and let's go to prepare and actions and let's look for an action that's suitable for that hmm okay we know arms out is going to work. Left hand, right hand, hand to mouth. Object, let's see how that looks. It might work. We'll keep that, we'll select that one too, but let's make another selection. Just give ourselves some options. Let's see. Two hands, uh, two hands forward. I don't know. We'll use that one too, but I don't know. Now let's look at the bikes. Bikers. Hey, you see, I could do that. Okay. That's the idle. But you, let me show you. You see how his legs go out in front of him? Hmm. Let's see. It might work. We'll try that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the bike. The idol for bike. And we'll go to direct. Forward. And let's do that action. There we go. Now let's move that action back to the beginning of the timeline. Move the end of the time bar out a little bit and bring the beginning of the time bar past that action. Okay? See if we can we just want we just don't want to jump back over there. Alright. Let's turn him around this way. Now, I need to look and see if that's going to really work. Hmm. May look kind of funny, but then again, maybe not. We'll, we'll give it a try and see how it, how it looks. Alright. The next thing we need to do is bring in the hang glider. And this time, I'm going to use my blue one. The blue one has a Digifactor logo on it. Before I bring it in, I want to bring the... Yeah, there we go. Right about there. And then, let's create that hang glider. It's one of my object's favorites. I'll look for hang glider 2. There we are. There we go. Now, let's see. On the hang glider, if you click on, let me close this. On the hang glider, if you click on its edits tab and go to properties, you notice all I have is just float in the air. I have keep upright un unchecked and can be stood on unchecked. This way I can do it vertical. Of course, I still may put it in keyframe mode, and keyframe mode uh, turns off the physics automatically. In other words, there won't be no collision. So, okay. Let me uh, open up my timeline again. I gotta see something. Okay, let me. Uh, Bring them back around like that. I gotta put them in the right position. So, okay. Now, let's 
before we put the uh, the hang glider in keyframe mode, we need to scale it up a little bit. And you can't do any kind of scaling when uh, it's in the keyframe mode. It disables those options. So it's best to do that before you do put it in the keyframe mode. So I'll give it about that much. Okay. Now we'll close its uh, edit options up. And then let's take the hang glider and go to direct to movement. Okay, right at that point, this is where we want to put it. Okay, and one thing about putting that invisible, the cube, because the camera can't see it, it only sees what's invisible, what's visible. So, we'll just move that hang glider. Oh yeah, I gotta put it in, I forgot to add a uh, keyframe. So, let's put that hang glider in the keyframe. And right at that key point, we'll add that keyframe. Now we should be able to put it in. There we go. We gotta put it right on his hands. have to be perfect. Close enough. Close enough, I guess. Now, if you imagine how he's going to look from the side with the, with the, uh, the footage turned horizontal. Take it from vertical, and you'll turn it from horizontal. Imagine how that would look. Okay. All right. Okay, we got that done. So that looks good. That would be perfect. Now we got that done. We need to move the slider to the beginning of the time bar. Okay. And we need to animate the character's head character head needs to be looking upward and that way while he's flying that will make it look like he's looking straight ahead forward okay so click on the character direct and go to characters eyes and head select the heads tab and let's record the head looking up okay Now, let's kind of bring that back a little bit. Yeah, I know it looks like the helmet's getting caught up on the, uh, hmm, yeah. Helmet's getting caught up on the, um, bar, that right there. Let's see if we can edit that helmet. Now let's try it. A little bit better. Okay. I tell you what, let's let's redo let's redo the animation of the of the head because we want him to be looking around while he's flying so let's animate his head to be looking around you gotta remember you gotta keep it uh in the upright position just make it look like he's looking around also looking down See? All right, that's good. We'll 
go past that point where it kind of jumped a little bit. There we go. Now let's stretch the length of the time bar. It don't have to be all the way. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do it all the way. All right. Let me move that back. Okay, we got everything in the place. Okay, we got them set up on his uh, hang glider. Um, and if you notice at the bottom, there's a shadow. That shadow is caused by the hang glider. So, uh, right click on the hang glider, edit tab. And go to lighting and uncheck cast shadow. Alright. Now, let's, whoops, undo that. Let me lock that, but I don't want to mess it up. Hey, now, nothing else that we have here is going to be animated. It's just going to be just like that. All right. The only thing that's going to be animated is the camera. Okay. And that's because we're giving it the illusion that he's flying through the air, okay? And in the movies, you don't have anything that resembles a hang glider flying. So, we'll bring the camera up above the character like that and turn it vertical straight up and down. I like so. Let's move it forward a little bit more. And then turn it right about like that. That looks good. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is put the camera into a uh, keyframe. So you go to direct and then movement. Okay. Put it in keyframe, switch to direct, and at that point we'll add a cue point. I like to use cue points because it helps me to know where my uh, keyframes, the, the starting keyframe and the ending keyframes are. In other words, I use it as markers. Okay, so we're going to add a keyframe at that first cue point. Okay, and then we're going to move the slider back or forward a little bit. I say about right there. Then we're going to add a cue point and then another cue frame. Now we'll, with both mouth, mouse buttons sel uh, selected, you're going to move the camera forward, let go of the just move the camera around like you know how to do it. So we'll like that. So. You know, I really don't like. Yeah, it might work. I don't know. Let's see. Now, now let's move it forward a little bit more. I really don't like that biker position because you you uh, you don't have a good control of his head. Um, but I already got this far, so we're going to stick with it. Okay, now add a key point on that, which we already did, and then let's add a key frame. Now let's bring that camera back a little bit. And we'll turn it the opposite way, like so. All right. We'll move the slider for a little bit more. Key point, key frame. And we'll bring it down like that. And we'll turn it. I'm 
not going to go too long on this. Okay, now let's move that slider forward a little bit more. And we'll add a cue point. And then move it just a little bit and add another cue point. The double cue points is going to be where I'm going to have a camera cut. And that's how I de determine from the uh, cue points and the double cue points. The double cue points is going to be my camera cuts. Okay? So, I'm going to add a keyframe on that first cue point right there. Okay? And then, I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to move it down. Well, let's see. Yeah, down. So, let's see how that looks. And I kind of turned it a little bit too, let's see. Let's see how that looks. Let's go back to the beginning. I usually do this um, to check myself to see how it the animation looks so far. Okay, looks good so far. Okay, right at the double uh, key points, right in the middle, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a camera cut, but I have to add another camera. So I'm going to go down, pass. the hang lighter back up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing okay and a little bit more okay now let's add a camera a second camera and grab that camera and move it vertical straight up Bring that camera in. Sorry about that. I have a software problem with the Oculus Home, so it, I don't know. <clears throat> so anyway, we'll bring it in closer. And we'll move it right here. Bring it in a more closer. I'm creating an illusion where the camera or it, where the camera switches around where you in other words a flyby. So that's what I'm trying to create right there, a flyby. Okay. And then we're gonna to go to direct and go to camera cut. Push record, and we're going to hit that number two camera. Okay, now let's bring that camera cut right in between those two cue points. All right, now we're going to animate that second camera. Okay, let's go to direct movement, switch to keyframe, and then switch back to direct. Now let's add a key point. I mean, a keyframe at that key point. I'm sorry. Right. Now let's move it forward a little bit. Add a key point and a keyframe. Now let's bring that camera out from it, like so, and then turn it a little bit. Now let's go out a little bit further. Right there, key point, keyframe. Let's bring the camera in a little closer a little bit. Yeah, we'll 
straightens. Let's go underneath them just about like that. Okay. It's always good to animate in different motions. That way it'll, I mean, you don't want it to stay completely still. You give it the illusion it's actually flying. And okay. we'll do it right there. And this is going to be the last one. I'm not going to go too much on this. So we'll add, you don't really have to add a cue point at the beginning, at the end, so, but I'm going to do it anyway. There. Right, and then let's zoom out. And then we're going to have them fly off into infinity. So. Like that. Okay. Now, let's uh, jump to the start of the timeline and let's go to camera cut now we're not gonna do any more camera cut I usually use this to see the final animation and the camera cut to see how it all looks it's, I, use, I do it like this it's better to test everything okay it's supposed to get so far I just don't like the head control on that biker's action okay that looks pretty good. Okay, that's a take. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to render this. Alright, and once I render it, I'm going to put it into hit film along with the uh, cloud fly through clip that I have from the last uh, video. I mean, that's the only one I have for right now. Uh, usually, I make fly throughs over. Uh, movie zoo sets I have so anyway but we're gonna do it like that so I'm gonna go ahead and render this all right and then I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut the video from here and when the uh, when the rendering is done I'll start back up so uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit when this is done okay everyone we're back and the rendering is done so uh, here's the final render of movie zoo the motion looks pretty cool okay it looks good not too fast or glitchy now I have OBS running so that looks good all right now we're going to import it into Hit film. I got hit film already open and I already started a new project. So I'm going to go to the medias tab and then import. Import that video here. There it is. And then I'm going to need a uh, the sky fly through. And I think I have it in let's see Cosmic Man. Yeah, here it is. This clip a friend gave to me so. Anyway, we're going to use the cloud fly through first. We'll place that in there. We're kind to kind of do this. All right. Now, if I play this, and notice it's going in the in the wrong direction. All right. Well, we're going to fix that in the composite. And we're going to turn this clip into a composite shot. So, right click on it and make composite shot. Alright, okay. And then and then we're going to uh, grab our hang glider and put it right over the composite shot. Like so. I mean the composite shot. I mean over the clouds. Alright. And then we're going to go to effects tab. We're gonna go all the way down and look for presets. Open up presets. Scroll down a little bit more, and then the first one, 2D effects. And in that 2D effects folder, we're going to look for green screen key. We have the green screen key, and it also does the blue screen key. But we're going to use the green screen. Just click on it and drag it, and put it right over the uh, hang glider. There we go. 
Now, see the clouds are moving the wrong way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the point where we have our camera cut. So, let's see. You know, this is, um, okay, I see what's going on. Obviously, my, uh, oh, my, uh, hang glider clip is a little bit longer than the the um, sky fly through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda like move that back like this. Try to find a point to where the camera zooms by. Right there. Okay, let me see how that Look, see if it didn't take out take away much it didn't so but we, we're going to fix some clouds we're going to turn it around the other way so we'll move that clip right there maybe a little bit longer like that that help fly there well that's good enough but we need that clip right there and I'm going to use that point and I'm going to go over here to the left under the editor section and I'm going to click on this razor and I'm going to click I'm going to cut it right there okay so the feet just passes um, we'll, let's grab our pointer We'll adjust it right there. Okay? Yeah. That works. And then jump to the point where right there. Okay, and let's drag this to where it lines up. Like that. Now let's see. Perfect. Okay, now, on this part, let's see. On this part right here of the, uh, let's see. Okay, and let's go back right there. Now, this right here at the bottom is the uh, cloud fly through. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut it and make this to two separate clips okay so this first one right here we're going to add a time reverse so let's go to uh, effects tab and let's look for the time reverse I can't remember exactly where it's at so uh, not that one for the life of me I can never remember where it's at there it is found it the second try time reverse we're going to click on that grab it and we're going to drag it over the first uh the first clip of the uh sky flyer. now let's see how that looks ah better and that's it i mean Everyone has its own different, their own different way, so you can experiment with this idea. Uh, you can also do it for like on side, the side view. You can have the camera go from the side like that, and then you can turn the. You'll have to turn the uh, the clip uh, horizontal instead of where it, when it, when he goes like when it looks like he's going, he's flying vertical. Well, in movie zoo, I mean not movie zoo. I'm sorry, in hit film. You can flip the uh, hang glider clip horizontal and making it look like he's flying uh, horizontally. And you can do a side fly, fly through or fly by. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's basically how you do a hang glider. 
the character flying a hang glider. And you can do bird's eye view. You can have the camera uh, over them. Uh, you can have the camera underneath them. Or you can just have the camera uh, behind them. Okay? And make it look like he's zooming through a canyon and you're just following him with the camera. But you got to remember, you only animate the camera. You don't animate the, the character of the hang glider. Okay? Yeah. Now, let's... Okay, let's render this. We'll export it. Export content. We'll go to export. And then... We'll export it to... Uh, where it's already at to my desktop. So, I'll leave that alone. And we'll... At the bottom, we'll click on start exporting. Shouldn't take that long because it's not a very long clip. And there we go. Now let's open up where the uh, clip is. So let's see the final render. There we go. And that's how you do a hang glider in MovieZoo. I hope this helps and I hope you enjoyed it. Look for more tutorials as we go along. Um, I'm going to also be doing uh, live streams. Uh, I did one uh, yesterday. Didn't have very many uh, views. Uh, I tried to uh, notify everyone, but I've been nobody showed except for a couple of people whoops sorry about that yeah, except for a couple of people um anyway they were there well hopefully the next live streams will be better because uh you'll learn a lot more okay everyone i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and y'all have a blessed day and see you another time